What's up? You're watching the Joe Slogan Experience. Welcome back to <laughs> Hive Mind Unlimited. A slogan, tagline, catchphrase, the motto by Drake. It's like NSYNC said, bye, bye, bye. T -t Today we're going to read an old slogan and guess which brand used to use it. You guys know the deal. It's one point for each one we get right. It's us versus you, somebody who's in our Patreon that we love. <laughs> cool, let's do it. First one, real good and still only 15 cents. Now this has got to be... 55 years old at least. <laughs> We're starting with an old slogan. <laughs> yeah. Like nothing is 15 cents anymore. I mean, you and me are old, but like, can you remember anything being 15 cents? No, I've never heard of that. 25 cents at a gumball machine yep. is the cheapest I can think. Or like a 25 cent loose cigarette at a gas station. Yeah. When they used to do those. And then it went up to 50 cents. And now the whole country is going to hell. <laughs> is this Exxon Mobil? Spotify? <laughs> yeah, Spotify premium. A lot of people don't know this. It used to be 15 cents a month. Yep, back in the 40s. <laughs> Your Spotify. Spotify wrapped is like Bing Crosby, <laughs> Ella Fitzgerald. Three, two, one. Coca Cola. I went Mickey D's. It is McDonald's. What? Ah! <laughs> what was 15 cents? The Big Mac? I think they only the sold fries? a burger. Oh, it was just one burger. Yeah. I mean, that's what it started. They, there was no filet o fish in the 40s. <laughs> There's no <laughs> shamrock shake. We hated the Irish back then. Yeah, that's true. Um, I think they just sold like burger, fry, and like soda pop. Did they sell cigarettes? Oh, yeah. I think they had to, right? Cigarettes yeah. and baseball cards with gum in them. <laughs> it was actually McDonald's, and then Philip and Morris was like in a little text right underneath That's it. cool, yeah. yeah. This was in the 1960s. Wow. So my four-year-old mom was buying 15-cent burgers? <laughs> Jeez. That's awesome. This is actually a true story. My mom and all six of her brothers and sisters worked at the same McDonald's. Probably making the same wage the people at McDonald's are now. No, they were not. <laughs> They were making $4 a week. Yeah. Earth's biggest bookstore. Who came up with this in a boardroom and was like, yep. It's the biggest on Earth. <laughs> Earth's biggest bookstore. Oh, I know this one. I'm 100% sure of it. Okay. I don't even have to write it down. Well, you should, though. That's part of the, the I'm structure. I'm so of the sure game. of it. That's fine, but I'm, I'm going to write it down and I don't know it. I'm trying to tell you in my mind right now. Why would you want to tell me that? To prove I have telekinetic powers? I don't know. Doesn't that seem important? I mean, it seems cool, but like you're playing against me. So you okay. should get me not to get the answer right. But if I could speak to you through the mind, we wouldn't be worried about little trivial games. We could literally solve some of the biggest problems. I feel like that's not what this is about with you. It's that you're too lazy to write it down. And so you want to like implant it in my brain so that we can both say it out loud so you don't have to write. No, I'm trying to defy science. I'm not getting anything from this. You're Nothing. just looking at me weird. Nothing? Yeah. <laughs> I literally don't feel a single thing. Amazon. What the oh! fuck was that? That was weird. That was weird. I was trying to tell you Barnes and Noble. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Amazon. That's what I put. It is Amazon. <laughs> yeah. Bezos. <laughs> Which is so funny because it's come such a long way from being a bookstore. Yeah. Now they'll discreetly send you sex toys. Do you think one day we'll all just have like a 3D printer in our house and when we order something on Amazon, it can just like materialize in our house? <laughs> I want to say no, but, but <laughs> it feels like kind of a natural step at this point. You, you got know? a microwave, a toaster oven, a fridge and then something that can just make anything you order offline. Yeah, it's like smart house. Computer, give me an orange smoothie and then be like, Yes, coming right up, but also I am developing human feelings and now I'm gonna get really angry. Computer, make my wife mow the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I need technology to go. You know no I mean? computer. That's what I need. You oh show me a computer God. that gets uh -huh. that to happen. Uh -huh. Hey, computer, make my wife take the kids outside to pee. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I need. Oh my Wait. gosh. Especially in the winter. <laughs> Your kids go outside oh to pee? Oh my god. What? Never mind. Let's keep it moving. Next, we've got official soft drink of the summer. It's soft drink's a word that I I just don't understand. I've never understood that. What the fuck is soft about it? I can be tough and still drink soda poppy. Is it literally the carbonation that's supposed to be like soft? Because it I doesn't. Guess. I feel like it makes it it's harsh. It's harsher. Yeah. yeah. It like bites your your tongue and your mouth. But it is any carbonated drink that can be referred to as a soft drink. I think too. Yep. I think it's also got to have flavoring in it. Yep. So you couldn't call a Lacroix a soft drink. Yep. But you could 
could call yep. a seven up or something. Yep. But yep. like a, so yeah. Correct. Like, but no, I was trying to I say like that's what exactly right. If I could just you got it. Do you know yep. this? So should we yes. guess? Are you right? Oh, do you need absolutely? <laughs> you need me to call someone? You got it. Yeah. Okay. I will. <laughs> I will. You need to go somewhere. <laughs> yep. Three, two, one. Pepsi. That's what I put. It is Coca Cola. Dumb bastard. I'm sorry. Is Pepsi okay? Does that give me a point? Oh, it works with waiters. Yeah, it does. <laughs> they get away with it. Yeah. All the time. I don't though. Well, like, I know. Yeah. You will. You'll say no. I'll say give me tap water. <laughs> put cyanide in it. <laughs> so I don't want to fucking live in a world where I have to drink Pepsi. I went with Pepsi here because I feel like historically their branding and advertisement has been more like summery. Yeah, Coca-Cola is known for Christmas. Coca-Cola is known for Christmas and Pepsi is always like, in the summer, at the game, or like it's always a right. very specific advertisement. If there are any young children out there watching our videos, please plug your ears for a second for something that I would like to say. Go ahead. Okay. Are you plugging your ears? Okay. Do you know that Coca-Cola came up with the wow, what Santa Claus looks like? The Santa Claus we mm -hmm. know, Coca-Cola came up with that. Yeah. What a powerful brand to come up with something that is just adopted by Everyone? Christians. Yeah. Like, yeah, we'll use that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, fat guy, red suit, white beard, down the chimney, brings you the stuff. You would think it would be cookies and Coke instead of cookies and milk. Oh, a few lines out for St. Nick? Or like cookies and vitamin water. You know, something under the Coca-Cola umbrella. Key bumps? Like cookies and Sprite. You put out cookies and Sprite for Santa Claus. Yeah. It would just increase sales. I don't see why they didn't do that. Cookies and runts. And their new slogan is what? Open happiness. Wow. Computer, generate happiness. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we've got front page of the internet. This is so funny because it's like in a time where everybody's picking up a paper. Like you're still relating the internet to the paper. I don't think this one's that old. I think this is like, this might even be their current slogan. It's not? They switched it. Wow. Yeah, it's not that old. Really? Mm -mm. Well, the internet, it's not that old. And also, I think the internet is such a mirror of the things that it virtualized. I yeah. know that's not a word, sure. but you know what I mean? Like, it always is using allegories for physical things. Yeah. You know, we still type stuff out. Right. And that was because of a typewriter, yeah. you know? But over time, you're getting less and less. I don't know. I think it's still happening. I yeah. think everything is still like a mirror of it. I just think like it loses its connection to that reference in people's brains and they just know something. Something. They know what the new thing is, and they might not un even understand the that reference. It, is, it is referencing something old, you know? But I love shit like that. I yeah. think that's super interesting, is that humans have to name stuff after other things to understand what they are, mm -hmm. or at least try to get other, that's branding, that's like communication, that's graphic communication. Yeah. It's like, that shit is cool to me. Mm -hmm. Quit nerding out though. Three, two, one. Reddit. I put Yahoo. This is Reddit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's their new slogan? Dive into anything. Dive into anything. So I tried to find one that was really, really recent for the game. It's a lot of old. Yeah. This one changed a year ago. People were really upset. They were like, it's a it's a way worse of a slogan than front page of the internet. Dive into anything? I mean, terrible advice for swimmers. There's no water in there. What are you doing? <laughs> Why does Reddit need a slogan? Everything has a slogan. I know. But yeah, I guess it has like a motto. But like Reddit's not like pitching their idea to... You, yeah, there's not like Reddit Super Bowl commercials. Right. Yeah, <laughs> there's not like, like Reddit billboards and shit like that. But yeah. but I, I mean, everything has a slogan. Yeah. You have to like describe the thing that you're mm. doing in a yeah. certain way. Next one, the way a sandwich should be. This seems problematic. How is it problematic? I don't know. It feels like judgmental. Like this is how a sandwich should be. This is how it ought to be. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is how a sandwich ought to be. No pickles. And, like it just seems like <laughs> they're prejudiced against pickles. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime you're saying like this is the way it should be. Yeah. Like you're not open to any other variations, and it seems like you're cutting people or certain demographics out of it. See, I don't look at it that way. It's like if you're talking about salad. It's like this is how a salad should be. It means like fresh, not like a wet pile of spinach with I, a bunch of no eggshells in there. There. Like they definitely shouldn't have eggshells. That's <laughs> true. You know, like there's certain ways things should be. Like? Like the good old days. <laughs> On rye bread, no mayo. <laughs> I'm talking turkey, cheese, rye bread, Reagan is president, first bite. <laughs> Three, two, one, Subway. That's what I put. It is Subway. And now it's Eat Fresh. How old is Subway? It's really old. And it used to not even be called Subway. It used to be called Pete's Subway. Pete's Subway? Yes, yeah, like Peter in 1966. And now it's used to clean a lot of drug dealers' money. Because you can start one with $10,000 cash. And the IRS doesn't have to know about it. And Subway will just run it for you. Yeah. It's kind of crazy, actually. Smart. That's why they have so many locations. Yep. The most of any restaurant in the USA. Thanks to the illicit sale of illegal substances. Oh, Subway. Substance way. It's a way to clean your money. <laughs> <clears throat> Always the low price. Always. <laughs> That's intense. It's always the low price. 
Always! <laughs> I'm guessing Menards. <laughs> I don't think Menards is national. Save big money at Menards. That was the local Menards. They got <laughs> that added to the slogan for us. <laughs> you know, my dad had a brief stint where he was drinking just tons of Budweiser's every single day. 12 to 15 Budweiser's every single day. Until finally, he saw the light. Then you drink. Then you drink. drink then you try to 15 of those per yeah. day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one. Walmart. Walmarts. It is Walmart. Yes. I'm in Walmart selling dab carts. <laughs> I'm in Walmart copping so much shit they call me Paul Blart. Self-conscious about my flatulence, but then I realized that we all fart. Doing graffiti in the bathroom, but I just call that stall art. What is Walmart's current slogan? Save money, live better. Wait a minute, isn't save money, live better Vic Mensa's slogan? <laughs> He's in bed with the Buffets. <laughs> all right, here we go. Soup is good food. <laughs> Soup is good food. Oh, I know it. I think I might know it, but this is hilarious. This is funny. Soup is good food. It's like you, like a baby wrote it. Babies don't like soup, really, do they? No, but I'm just saying the way it's written is so childish. It's like, yeah. soup is good food. Favorite soup? Chicken soup for the teenage soul. That's your favorite soup, yeah, is a book for teenagers. Poetry, yeah, <laughs> for soup. Poetry is my favorite soup. Boring, lame, problematic, scary. Yeah, sure. Eating liquid with a spoon, that's yeah. fine. But me personally, I like to ingest poetry. Soul food. And sure, food is good for some people, but for me, food for thought is much, um, I don't know, richer? Ah. I don't know, I guess I'm just kind of like different that way. Mm -hmm. I would prefer to consume wisdom, but sure, like a sandwich or soup is good for the common man, I'm mm. sure. Yeah. I've never had one of either, but I assume it should be fine. But to me, um, I, I got have, it. I, yeah, have, yeah. I haven't eaten in 16 days, mm -hmm. and I have read a lot of Rupee Carr. Three, two, one. Panera. Campbell's. This is Campbell's. <laughs> I don't know why I was just thinking restaurants that have soup and not the soup company. I like, wrote that first. Oh, you did? I yeah. wrote Panera first. And then you were trying to remember how to spell Campbell's. Well, I didn't know if it had a P in it or not. I don't know if it was Camp Bells or it Campbell's. It is. It's Camp Bells. Good, because I squeezed it in there like kind of one of those. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in the museum looking at Andy Warhol. I see Graydon's Barbie collection and I say, look at those poor dolls. Yeah. You would burn them and fuse their bodies together. Andy Warhog. <laughs> Man, did any other animal like get the shorter end of a stick on the name? Warthog. Think of another animal that got like a worse name. Ooh, warthog is bad. That's, let's think, let's that's think. A like a butterfly. What's butter about it? Yeah, what's <laughs> buttery? Maybe they taste like butter. I never have thought about that. I'm not yeah. joking, this is the first time I'm thinking <laughs> yeah. butter is part of butterfly. Yeah, it's weird. Maybe the scientist's name was Brent Butter. What's up, my name is Brent Butter. I discovered this fly nah. thing. <laughs> No? Nope. I think I'm gonna call it the butterfly because it's kind of my <laughs> last name mixed with like, it's also kind of flying around. So like, I feel like that's pretty like clever and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Nah, but like I for real found this weird ass <laughs> shit that was like flying around. Yeah. And it also like starts out as a worm and then it turns into like a mummy. And then it like gets to like fly around and be like, has like pretty ass wings. And like my name being Brent Butter, yeah. I feel like I kind of have dibs on like <laughs> naming it the butterfly. For sure. Because then it, like, I'll be remembered forever because of my namesake, yeah. this beautiful creature, the butterfly. I mean, that's super fly, so congratulations on your recent discovery. Dude, thanks, bro. Nah, for real, like, that's my third animal so far. So, like, what were the first two animals you discovered? Well, I found this, like, weird-ass shit with, like, some horns on it or whatever. At first, I was gonna call it the Brentoceros, <laughs> but then I forgot about, like, my boy Ryan, who had, like, yeah. done a lot of shit for me, and so I was like, you know what? Cheers to you, bro. Like, this one's for you. I'm gonna go with the Rhinoceros. So, <laughs> that's, like, an homage to the homie. Yeah, and that's, like, selfless type shit so now it's like my time to kind of like shine and i'll put yeah. like my name out there in this new Show. animal that i found <laughs> i get it which is the butterfly like brent butterfly but there's still one more oh the other one yeah shark <laughs> That's it, fuck. Yeah. Next one. <laughs> now you're playing with power. Sound like something Donald Trump would say. It's my favorite show on television, but they're playing with it. They're playing with power. They threatened to kill 50 Cent off, and I said, don't do it. I would never do it. Such an important character in the show. You see the viewership. It's going down. I want there to be a water park where it's liquor for a day. Like an adult swim. Vodka, tequila. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the reposado slide. And it like, gets so dirty. And instead of lifeguards, it's bartenders, and you go up to him, they bore shit in the mouth. <laughs> 16 people passed away at the liquor park this weekend. <laughs> and more on this story at seven o'clock. You know, they have the giant bucket that'll drop on you like every 30 minutes yeah. when it fills up. Just like, 
a hundred people up there with bottles of Jack. It fills up. Just <laughs> <laughs> three, two, one. I put PlayStation, Xbox. This is Nintendo. So, I, was, I was close. I thought about writing <laughs> yeah, that one. I was close. It's fine. It's other. Jeez. <laughs> what? We're not. It's fine, man. Jeez, man. I was close too. <laughs> okay. Fuck, man. <laughs> what is Nintendo's new slogan? Okay, so for this one, I thought it'd be fun to use like a history of the system because they have different slogans for all of their systems. So Nerd. This one was for the NES system, like the stand up, you know, Donkey Kong, yes. like the big console game the things. Their current one for Switch is Switch and Play, but their company slogan now is there's no play like it. I hate Nintendo for real though. I used to have a Super Nintendo though, like the original system. Nice. One time I liked playing it so much that I pissed myself. You could use the bathroom or you can keep playing the game. Nintendo, <laughs> play it so long you piss yourself. <laughs> Next one, satisfy your grown up tastes. <laughs> this could kind of work for the liquor park. You're grown up, you don't like water. <laughs> <laughs> Try our new high noon wave pool. <laughs> <laughs> The White Claw Water Slide. <laughs> the Bush Light Lazy River. <laughs> <laughs> and right next to it, the Bush Heavy la Lazy River. <laughs> Just fatter people. It's now. even lazier. <laughs> and our new unpopular ride, the IPA Lagoon. <laughs> <laughs> Just stinks. It's a bunch of pretentious fox. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Playboy. I put HBO. <laughs> this is Arby's. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Yo. So Arby's like original angle was to go for a dog. I guess. It's time to grow up. Eat a roast beef sandwich. <laughs> I can see how roast beef is really hard to market to children. That's it. Hey kids, you've been studying uh, having a hard day in fourth grade. How about you have a thinly sliced piece of prime beef? <laughs> Next one. What happens here stays here. Does this count as a brand? It's actually an interesting conception story. I guess as a whole, it was a brand. Really? Oh yeah. It was like a marketed design thing. Still is very much a brand. I see that. I see that, but I feel like that wouldn't be, um, that wouldn't be this. You know, like old peep shows, right? You go in with like 50 cents, a little curtain comes up. Yeah, sure. Most places just like a video or something, but some places maybe you have a little sexy person there dancing. Yeah. I learned from a story of someone that used to go to them all the time. They were talking about an old local one, like around here in Detroit. And they were like, in this one I used to go to, you had a buddy button. And cause you're in stalls, right? Right. And there's a little button and you could press it. And if the other person pressed it, the glass would like go from not being able to see through to being able to see through. And then you could see the person next to you. What? There was a, one more button too. Yeah. Below the buddy button, the buddy hole button. And so, if they press yeah. that too, you guys could, I think like put your hand, like hold hands or something. Listen, it's not my cup of tea, no. but you gotta kind of give respect where it's due. They were thinking about the experience of the customer. And consent too. Like old Absolutely. school, just hit the button. And if you hit the button too, we can look at each other while we jerk off to this old <laughs> porno. Yeah, that's the whole, that was like Staples whole thing too. Really? The easy button, yeah. It oh. was a similar thing, yeah. Ew. I feel like the best peep show would be like, you you go in there and you like, whatever, the curtain goes up and then there's just a wild animal in there. It <laughs> <laughs> was like, what the? Like, oh shit. Yeah. It's a warthog and a bald eagle. Yeah. <laughs> and you're just like, oh, what are they gonna do? I've never seen these two together. <laughs> Three, two, one. Applebee's. Las Vegas. It's Las Vegas. <laughs> you really just like picked up city. Oh yeah, the brand of Las Vegas. I mean, it is kind of a brand. No, uh, yeah, it is, it is. It's, it's designed just... by the American gangsters, really. I just really thought it was Applebee's, you know? <laughs> the waitress like, <laughs> at the end of the commercial. Chili's? Oh, gossip. A lot of Shit gossip. Shit gets around. Shit if you say around. some at the table, you're gonna hear about it at church next weekend. Mm -hmm. At Applebee's? Fuck no. Confidentiality agreement. <laughs> this one's just a good place to sit and eat. <laughs> we can laugh at this because it's so stupid and simple, but like that's the times. And that's all I want. All I want is a good place to sit and eat. <laughs> but it just can't happen now. No, you couldn't, you like couldn't you, advertise to a, a huge audience with something so quaint. It's crazy that this is the marketing that used to work. There are people at home with like their fucking tube TV with an antenna they have to like hold on to to get the signal and they're like, What's that place? Oh, a good place to sit and eat. That sounds nice, doesn't it? That sounds real nice, Cheryl. You and me, sitting and eating. <laughs> like, that's not enough anymore. A good place to sit and eat and do trivia and play Kino and draw on the menu and watch the TV at the urinal in the bathroom and play the crane game <laughs> and drink 15 beers and then go home. And don't worry, your money's no good here. We have a chip system. So when you come in, you get an odd amount for every dollar you get. That shit sucks. I will fucking burn a place down that has that. And I'm thinking of one specific downtown Detroit. I know exactly what you're talking about. <sighs> oh, but don't worry, we have beer pong. 
long. <laughs> Remember when we used to do this just last weekend because we haven't stopped living our college dreams? My hairline is behind me. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> Three, two, one. Applebee's again. Cracker Barrel. This is Denny's. I was, oh, Denny's was on the tip of my... Fuck! Damn, Denny's sucks though. Yeah, Denny's is not a good place to sit. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the Grand Slam from Denny's is a strikeout. You have like a three out of five chance that there's gonna be some sort of domestic disturbance going on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've eaten at Denny's probably 10 times in my life and yeah. I've seen 20 divorces inside of a Denny's. Yep. I saw four people get killed. What's their new slogan? America's diner is always open. That's not blood, it's ketchup. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> All right, next one. Better matters. Better matters. Who's worried about quality? Um, Sounds like a medical insurance or something. Yeah. Like it's like State Farm because better matters. We're a lot more expensive than our competitors, but that's okay because better matters. <laughs> yeah. Like that's the feeling I'm getting from this is like an expensive, exclusive company. Yeah. But they're justifying it by being better. Three, two, one. Toyota? The General. <laughs> <laughs> Verizon Wire. Uh, that, uh, that actually does totally make sense. Yeah. All the cellular providers, I think I rock with them the most. Yeah, but they've kind of done it by just like buying everyone out. Every single phone company's done that. Like AT&T bought Singular. And right. T-Mobile bought Radio Shack and TGI Fridays. Like they just kind of like absorb other companies <laughs> and that's how it works, you know? T-Mobile bought TGI Fridays? Yeah, absolutely. Holy shit. You didn't hear about that? No. It's a huge story, yeah. Explains why I never get service in there, I guess. Next we got making it easier. Making it easier. All right, making it easier. Who would make it easy for me to forget all of those terrible things that I've done <laughs> and move on with my life? Three, two, one. Progressive? AutoZone. This is Microsoft. 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 <laughs> okay, you said that. Okay, mine's micro when it's soft, but it gets to it almost average when it's hard. Dude. It's Microsoft. Yeah. Well, you know, they say that it's not about the size, it's about how you use it. I yeah. mean, if you can Microsoft Edge. Yeah. Then, <laughs> then you know. sometimes you can make her bing. <laughs> you Google or Yahoo and then, you know. I might have a Microsoft, but my wife, she's a Firefox. <laughs> <laughs> Last one. Okay, we've got We Love to Fly and It Shows. Wait, We Love to Fly and It Shows? Did somebody go back in a time machine from Gen Z and write this? <laughs> it's giving airplane. <laughs> <laughs> Those other airlines are toxic. We're not like your ex airline. <laughs> Three, two, one. Delta. Spirit. It is Delta. Nice. What is Delta's slogan now? Keep climbing. Keep climbing? Yeah, I guess. There's nothing about flying that is climbing. You climb altitude, every new model that comes out, you go to a higher cruising altitude for fuel efficiency, time, yeah, comfort. Yeah. The higher you go up, the less turbulence. I mean, come on. I bet who was ever born into the, the family of the founder of this airline was dealt a pretty good hand in life. Took a whole road trip to get to that one. Keep climbing. Yeah. <laughs> hey, well played game. This Thank you. Fun. Yeah, congratulations. Thank Let's you. Yeah. Hope, hope you guys enjoyed this game. Let us know if you liked it or if you want us to do it again or what else we should do on this channel. This is Hive Mind Unlimited. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, all the stuff I did not say at the beginning of the video. And Graydon, please leave these wonderful people some advice to leave a little bit. The older I get, the better I was. All right, this has been Hive Mind Unlimited, and we'll see you in the next one. Wait a minute. We need a slogan, by the way. So drop your uh, slogan ideas for Hive Mind down there. Now the left wants you to believe that power is getting better as the seasons go on, but in reality, power is declining. I mean, we all see it every day, we see it. The episodes aren't as good as they used to be in season one. It doesn't have that magic anymore. Do we even know what power's about? <laughs> no, I literally <laughs> don't even know. No. I think it's like about the industry, A&Rs maybe, and artists, shit like that. And this is so like homey. Homey. <laughs> Bambi's mom was a MILF. <laughs>